Hello. Las chicas de, de la aviación. <ríe> Se le dobló un poquito la hélice. Miren chicos, esto es para darle las clases de motores. Acá se ve perfecto el cigüeñal, ahí adentro. Me vas a agarrar el dedo. <risa> a ver, ahí está, mover el cigüeñal. Ahí se ve el cigüeñal girando, que es lo que va a la hélice. Esto es la biela, el pistón. En compresión. Ahí está ahí comprimiendo. Y, está y ahí se ven las válvulas. Ahí está abriendo la, la válvula de escape. Y ahora va a empezar a abrir la de admisión. Bien. Ahí abre la admisión. Uf. Acaba la bujía, queda el chispazo. Los primeros simuladores. Uy, no lo había visto nunca. ¿Cómo se refrigeraría con agua? Los botadores están por fuera de los cilindros. El botador es lo que hace que abre y cierre las válvulas, ¿sí? que están ahí, ahí atrás. Por lo general están adentro de la tapa, tienen una tapa y van lubricados con aceite. Esto está todo por afuera. Dos cilindros. Acá dice. Un motor de 1916. Ocho cilindros enfriado por agua, ¿viste? 9,3 litros y te da 100 HP. El monstruo este. Ese monstruo tira 100 HP. 100 HP. Lo mismo que un C200 que tiene un 60, 150 o un Rotax que tiene un Tecnam, lo tira o esto que S20. debe pesar 181 kilos. <risa> Lleno de esquíes de rueda de cola ahí. Y acá hay diferentes materiales. Esto es algo más moderno que se usa ahora. Viejitos de madera. Mirá, esto es de rueda de cola de algo muy grande. L2M. Contanos un poco de esto. Uniformes japoneses y herramientas que usaban los japoneses durante la guerra que fueron secuestrados o tomados por el ejército americano después del ataque de Pearl Harbor. Acá Estos ya... son los kamikazes que usaban esos cinturones cuando chocaban los aviones y se estrellaban. contra los barcos. Y fíjate que está manchado. Tiene sangre, así me que me... este murió. A mí me impresionó. A mí me gustó eso, el lanzabalizas. ¿Qué si vamos fuera a ver el avión de combate? Sí, sí, ese es el último que perder. Me sacaron la turbina. Las turbinas. Qué cortito de ala. Pero viste que impresiona el tamaño. Es, es grande. Enorme. Es grande, pero muy cortito de ala. Qué lindo volar esto. Mirá. ¿Qué es esto? A ver. No, esto es un alto caño. Cuatro slats tiene, mira. Y el tamaño del, del alerón. Helio Carrier. El alerón debe tener un metro diez más o menos. Y el flap debe tener unos tres metros cincuenta o más. Este es el más lindo de todo el museo. No, está original, original. Estamos en el taller de Acme Cab. Ahora vamos a salir a volar floats. Es hermoso este lugar. Ahí está llegando nuestro instructor en un cab con wheels, con ruedas. Y ahora van a poner con esa camioneta que tiene nada más que ruedas adelante, ese otro cab en el agua para que volemos nosotros. Ahí le están haciendo el lift, lo están subiendo, ya no tocan los pontones. No, no, no. 
that's fine. Get back, the girl is gone. My heels are done, and my shoes are thin. So, no, by now, that's the big sign. Beaver, como otra estrella, esto parece que son bastante plagas por acá, hay muchos, en The Regal Air, estas hacen excursiones para ver los osos, las cabras monteses, los glaciares. ¿eh? Ok, Car hit is on for any reason? No, it should be in. Okay, we have uniform. Uniform. Information uniform. Okay, what you do not know what is, is right here. This one? That one. Yeah. That is okay. the water rudder. So and how they, that they work? I just, just pick, take pick, it out. Pick it up. Pick it up and Drop release it. them. Drop it. Yep. And then, the same. Yeah, pick it up. Okay. As soon as we get going, then you drop those so you can steer. Perfect. The remote. Okay. We have fuel. We do. Allá viene Kiki haciendo el taxi. Le tocó a él. Este es el Hood Canal que va y termina en el hotel Lakefront y de ahí sería lo que es cabecera de pista para despegar. Se taxea por este lado de la isla que está ahora detrás del Super Cup y del otro lado de la isla está el sector donde se despega y aterriza. Bueno, bromita del queque, apuntándole a la cámara. Do you want to see how short this is going to turn? You pull it to idle, then go full rudder left. Tower Beaver 720, uniform, flow taxi for west. Beaver 720 across the... See how short this will turn around? Yeah, super short. So you can bring it up to about a thousand? A thousand? Yeah. The reason for that is if you go much higher, you get the water spray on the propeller. Okay. And it, it is very hard on the propeller. It's like sand. sand. Okay, we are going to do a kind of a low power setting on takeoff. Low power? I will set your power. Okay, you will set the power. Yeah, because what I want you to do is feel when you get on step, if you pull too far back, you dig the heels in. 
if you go too far forward, you dig the nose in. So right in the middle, you'll feel it speed up and slow down. The sweet spot, okay. A sweet spot. Just like with a woman, you find a sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> Taxiando el último pedazo de Lakewood hasta llegar a lo que sería la cabecera frente al hotel para despegar. Ahí se sienten llegar a la olita, a la costa, las olitas que produce el hidro con sus flotadores. Redujeron la potencia. Y ahora si no le dan mucho más explicaciones a Keke será cuestión de tomar posición en cabecera y despegar. Nice takeoff. Yeah, I got some wind out here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and Lakewood Tower, the cut that's taxiing at the slow taxi has their cargo door open. 187 heavy turn to left at Delta, hold short, runway 7 left. Dark, drunk, back, or two back Charlie, I got a door open, I got a taxi to short. <laughs> Yeah, he got it. Take it. Okay. You see how the water is? Yeah, the, the wind is blowing this direction. Yes. So the shore with glassy water is where the wind came from. Yeah. We use that too. Let's go left. We're going to go to a different place. Okay. And I will try to find you a moose. <laughs> we'll be awesome. We're not going to go where he went. Okay. We're going to have a different lake. Uh, I want to show you something here. Okay, one of the things that you do is you fly between 800 and 1,000 feet to look for obstacles on the lake. Okay? So, look down and see how shallow the water is between the shore and the island. And between the islands. See how shallow it is? Yes. Yes, you see all the sparks in there? You don't go between the islands. That's why you overfly the lake. You're looking for people, for boats, for moose. Okay. Logs, stuff that can grab your plane. See how the trees are laying in the water? Yeah. So that's what you're looking for. So you're looking for things that can get you. The moose right down on the right. 1,200. The sec will wait for this guy. He'll wait for us. This is Roman Roger, runway 33, quick line. You can put us up 122.9. 502, kind of departure. 122.9? Yep. Who's move alone or in groups? Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> both. <laughs> Depends on time of year. Mating season, the bull tries to put them all together. Okay. Give me flaps one. One flaps, done. Flaps two. Flaps two. So what you're doing is coming in low. Copy just south, figure eight, westbound, 1000. Oh, nice feeling. Flaps up. Flaps up. Here we stop before the tree. <laughs> Flaps, or uh, water rudders down. Okay, that was your landing. When the wind gets too strong, you won't be able to do this. So before takeoff, carb heat is in. Carb heat is in. Gas is both. T9 area traffic, low north, both. Okay, south, undercarriage we're waiting on. Okay. The mixture is rich. Mixture is rich. Timer's in and locked. Exactly. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps two, actually. Two flaps. And trim, Three. I'm going to put a little nose up. Okay. It's like a ski, water skiing. You Oh, put okay. the plane very 
very near the water and you look up, you wait, you hold, you wait. hold your attitude. Perfect. See how close we were to shore when we came over this? Yes. So that is your last, basically, visual reference. Okay, go for it. Pick all the way back. All right, power. Let it come forward. Let it come forward. No, don't put it forward. Hold it. See that? Goes down. Flap up. Nice and gentle. There you go. And you would trim it. Now we're going to come back around and land. Clear pair of traffic. See, we're showing to zero, 800 feet maneuvering. So basically what we do is come out here in circle. Do it in circle or not? Yeah, go, come out just like 90 degrees. So come left. Yeah, this will be your downwind. Okay. So roll out. Now you do your carb heat check. And then back in. Gas is both. Both. Undercarriage is up. Up. Mixture's rich. Primers rich. in and lock. Duck waiting on flaps. So what we would do is come out further. We lock long finals. So that way you can see everything. You have a nice stable approach. Perfect. A long final, okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so now come left. Don't descend too much. Okay, roll out. Continue. Okay, so slow it up and put flaps one. Nice and gentle. Flaps two. Flaps three. Now you're all set. Trim it. Power is needed. So what you want okay. is to come down nice and low. And then don't dive for it. Just keep it coming down. Okay, power off. Landing attitude. Power back in just a little bit. Okay. Hold the stick all the way back. Power all the way. There you go. Nice. See that? You did it before the thing. Perfect. Can we do one more? <laughs> yeah, should do one more. Yeah. Aileron, there you go. You see that difference? Perfect. Wait another minute, no, I won't. Have to land straight. Minute, no, Cut the power, attitude, now power back in. There you go, power all the way off. Don't let it come forward. Never forward. Never release Never forward. forward. Not in this plane. Never release the pressure back, okay. Yep. In this plane, if you dig in the floats, it'll flip over. Some planes, you can put it forward and it stops it. Okay, with bigger, larger floats, I believe. Yeah, but this one, it will flip over. <laughs> okay. Never release the pressure. Okay. Okay, so now just take us back. I like the feeling of the landing. It's, I want to do it more smooth, <laughs> not bouncing. No, it's not bad. Don't the first one was perfect. Power go. Stick over to one side. On one side. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Thanks. It's awesome. It's beautiful to do this. Remember, if this was a glassy water landing, you would want to be as low as you can just before you hit the water. Okay. So that way you have your last reference point would be the, uh, the shoreline. When we were landing in that lake, we had little ice cubes. You use them like a reference? Yes. Here you're using the ground. Landing attitude, hold it, power all the way off. Stick all the way off. Very good. Very good. Yeah. 
I like that. Very nice. Very nice. I can get out now. <laughs> Esa es la manera que se hace para subir arriba en la rampa. Asusta un poco. Pero como no tiene una rueda, uno no sabe que no va a avanzar en seco. Ahí está. What is different flying floats than wheels? Taxing. Taxing. The risk of many things. Everything is changing constantly. Everything changes. Yeah. So, you climb into the wind, down and away. So you hold back on the stick, so you keep your propeller yeah, out of the yeah, water. Yeah, out of the water. Yeah. And, and after you step, if you, when you start step. Yeah, once you, you get on step, step, then you let it come forward, and you find the sweet spot where you're not digging in the heels, or you're not digging in the bow. Yeah. So then you, then you can go. And then up. Yeah. So when you take off and you hold it to the left because of the P factor, mm -hmm. It'll raise one float out of the water and you'll get off quicker. Mm -hmm. so, Less drag, yeah. Yeah, so the P factor is helping you bring this float out of the water. And then you take off shorter. Then you have to have a little aft stick because you're coming in. It'll fly right off the water a lot shorter. Did you feel that when we were taking off and I moved it a little bit to the left and yeah. the right always, float just Always, you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now that you say I, I yeah. realize what happened. Yeah, that's how come you pull back and go one yeah. side or the other, like into the wind. Yeah. And then the other float will, as soon as it lifts up, then your plane is ready to go. 